Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Patrick's Parabox, one of the best puzzle games that has come out in a long time. This is a recursive puzzle game where the goal is to push around boxes and get yourself to be located inside the goal with eyes. It's this tiny goal inside the yellow block. And you may have noticed there's another block that is the level itself, complete with a mini me inside of it. You can tell the recursion's going on because if I try to escape, I'll just come out here and it's just repeats to infinity. So it's absolutely mind blowing. I gotta figure out how to get to this block. Now I can't enter it from above because I'll just push it and pushing it is not good enough. And normally I would put this up against some barrier below so it doesn't get pushed, but if it's here, I can't enter. Good God. Okay, yeah, leave the big block there. Actually, maybe push this like here. And now, oh, okay, well now there's a barrier, so I can't exit because I would tr exit into this. So that works as a barrier, so now I can enter. Oh, okay. Very strange, but now it's just another level to show that we, we've we learned it. Oh, but this one's clever because you can only enter blocks if there's a hole in the center of one of its sides. This hole is off center. So, what can I do? Maybe I can set this up here and then waltz into there okay that's something there are now three blocks one is still recursive now what i think i want to do is actually get both of the blocks inside the green one because it looks like this has a wall that can't be pushed so if i get them both in i can just do what i did before so now they're both inside green so i can go down into this all right, let's do some red levels. This is an interesting section. What is this hole right here? That's the first thing that catches my eye. And what is up with this green? Why is it just a solid line path? What if um I have this line here and I push this level into green? Just, I, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this yet, but something feels right about it. Oh, what if then I also push in yellow and then push the entirety of green to be right here? So now <laughs> it has again a solid barrier. You can see below it right now that won't get moved when I go into it. Okay, and now we have multiple types of goals. My goal and then several boxes for the other boxes. And inside of this gold one, there's another goal. I have to enter this block going down. Now where can this be? It can't just go in the green, because it's still going to be stuck here, but I would love to do that. Yeah, but I have to retrieve this block at some point. If I push this all the way down to here, I will have a clean barrier to enter this at least. And then I can exit and, well, I can't really do too much with this. I can go back to here. I don't know, it doesn't seem too great in particular. Maybe I have to use that top lip of blue to my advantage somehow. Like at least this way I can enter orange and rescue it. But I can't rescue blue. Well, one thing I can do here is have blue swallow orange. Oh, now orange swallows blue. It seems like when both blocks can swallow each other, the one I'm pushing always goes into the one that's still. I don't, I'm, I'm sure I've had that scenario pop up before, but it's the first time for everything. Here's the issue. Orange is still stuck at the base of green. So I can rescue blue all I want, but orange is still stuck. I feel like I've tried everything. <laughs> it genuinely feels like if I can figure out anything that's new to do, it's probably gonna be the solution, right? This one makes absolutely no sense with what I've got, been given. I What I'm hoping is that maybe that level's just misplaced and maybe the concept that's needed to solve that level will actually be explained in one of these. Also, this is funny. We got three layers at deep recursion. Okay, so let me push this green block out and now go green into green how do i get three blocks though i mean it's one of each so i need orange to go into orange whoa don't do that so go through here and then 
want to like escape how do i get out of here how do i get into orange damn it how do we get into anything reset this is weird it's a very careful balance you don't want to disrupt if i push orange out and then we'll have orange inside of orange here so now this should work uh, but i gotta push blue out as well weird but okay yeah this made sense the only way to actually get orange inside orange was to push orange outside orange which maybe doesn't make sense but wait this looks like a similar puzzle but different where's the me goal it's in blue so now i just need to push blue outside of blue so first i will push orange outside of blue and now I have to go to green. No, I have green inside green now. That's not right. Exit here. I will push blue outside. And now I have blue inside blue again. But that's not what I want. Well, that's what, how I want to end, but not what I want right now. Oh, that's weird. How the hell do I get to orange? How do I get to both blue and orange? Oh, that's weird. I mean, I can push orange here. And then I would like to push blue over. But then orange needs to be inside blue is the idea. Orange can't be inside orange, it has to be inside blue. But then, if orange has to be inside blue, then how on earth can I have three boxes to play with? Reset. Orange is inside blue right now. It's like I need to go out two layers at once here. And push this out first. Then go out again. And then in blue... I could push this out this way, so orange is complete, and I'm still inside blue. Wait, now I need four boxes, but is this just the similar puzzle with four boxes? It is. And where is blue, or where's my goal? It's in blue. So the final thing I need to do is push blue out of green when they're next to each other here. So I'll just place green here for now, and I'll push around orange a touch. Because outside of blue is still green. And then outside of green is orange. Good. So I'm going to put all these in green. And then come out myself. But orange is inside green, which is inside orange right now. So I have to be careful. Very careful. Well, if I push orange outside, then it's just orange inside orange, which is not good. Wait, how can I get to blue, though? Yeah, isn't blue out of the picture now? Reset. <laughs> Never mind that. Right, I went back to the previous level, and I think the idea is that I've got to get orange inside of blue. That's the big thing. So now it's blue, green, and orange to infinity, but now i got to get green out of the picture. So I'll just put green maybe here. Then i got to get purple out of the picture next. Let's just go this way. We'll go here. And then I've got to get blue into orange. So that will look like this. And then I can leave orange to blue, push orange out, still be in blue, and win. Nice! Okay, bad news is I'm no closer to this level. So maybe I'll just come back to it later. Maybe I'll click after these. All I have to do is get two boxes, right? Oh, something has to, be, has to be inside green, I understand. Well, hold on. Why don't I swallow both of these in yellow and then push this up here? I think this is a little better because now I can push blue into green, get out. Uh, one at a time. I wish green was anywhere but on the left side okay you see what i'm trying to do i just need to not have that stuff be positioned there and it's fine let's have it be positioned on say this edge because now all i need to do is set it up here go in and set this up so now at least i can push green out because there was no way for me to push out otherwise and now i win and this looks like the previous one but trickier it looks like Orange is going to have to host both blue and green. Let's see if I'm right. So I'll push this in and push that in. I'll push them in again. 
I'll push him over here. So then I can go push and push, get blue into green, then take this back. I need to do it up against this gray wall because that way I can move over this way and then do a big turnaround. Actually, I don't even think a turnaround is needed. I just need to have green be a bit more in the open and now I can enter it and push green out. So I guess what I'm learning from those levels is I just have to keep track of what the host is. So maybe that can help me with this challenge level? Well, it's blue inside blue. And I can have blue inside green. And I can have blue inside yellow. But it's not multiple nested recursion. It's just one layer deep nested recursion. And there's no way to make it more than one layer deep. So I don't think I can mess with that. Okay, I'm inside green. Which is inside blue which is inside green, but I can't manipulate green. It's stuck against the wall. See, if green had freedom to move, I could maybe concoct something here, but I can't. So what gives? Like all I can do is push blue inside orange, get this box in, and then save blue. la di da I'm missing a block. Yeah, I can officially say this level makes no sense to me. I think I've spent a total of I want to say 45 minutes on it with no dice. Let's check out a blue instead. Woo. Oh, God. What the hell is this? Oh, good God. This is tiny. Okay, well, I can push th this that way. And then I see. How can I push the box itself to the edge? Well... Actually, it's not that bad. All I need to do, actually, is set this up here and then push this over twice. And I'm at the edge of a paradox, but not quite making a paradox. Can that help me with this level? Being at the edge of a paradox? Well, it was at the edge of the paradox while on its goal. You can't say the same for this level. Yeah, it could be at the edge of a paradox, but... You can't push out in the opposite direction from the paradox, no matter which paradox I do, and it's not on his goal. So that's no good. What about this level? What is this? Mm. Good God. This could make anyone rightfully sick. How am I meant to retrieve any blocks from this? Oh, okay, I got one. This is funky. Is this a clone? I think this is a clone level. Oh, it's a clone. That makes things a little bit more understandable. Yeah, I can get behind that. I need six boxes though. And it's like I gotta enter here and then try to, there we go, push this out. What I don't know though is how I'm going to get any of the top three from the clone. Oh, well, I guess it might be easier once I get over here. Yeah, I can push this down now. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Well, we're somewhat talking. We're talking a little bit. We're talking just a bit. Just chatting. Nothing too much. I can enter from here. I don't like that so much. I can push this down. I can push this over. There we go. Now again, I can enter from the top. Gotta be careful though, not to push stuff into each other. This is so bizarre. Now I can enter from the top. There we go. Oh boy, that was a weird one. Okay. <laughs> it felt like I was playing a four dimensional, like 15 puzzle. But with nine pieces, I guess with eight pieces. Okay, I have to stab at this once more. Those mind fucks were easier than whatever the hell this is. How about I just be in denial? All right. Woo, I solved it. Definitely beat the puzzle. And there is no way to enter this yellow block without dooming myself. Either I doom the yellow block or I doom the blue block. There's no way. All uh, right. 
I'm very annoyed. Um, there is a reason why this puzzle took me an hour to do. I looked this up and this is gonna be so annoying. I set this up so many times and what I didn't realize is there is a spot right here that I can push it in. And the reason is, is because my real life vision of this spot was blocked by my uh, cup. I had to move my cup just so I could see it in real life. And I just simply did not physically see it all. That wasted an hour of my time because my cup was positioned where it was. I guess I'm glad I looked it up, but that is so stupid. I can't believe I let that happen to myself. Well, the thing is, I don't know the actual solution to the puzzle. All I know is that this spot exists. So I, I saw this and I'm like, I, I didn't even see him do it. I just saw a full vision of the level in a YouTube video and I instantly face palmed. This shouldn't be too hard to solve from here. I have to imagine it's quite easy. Yeah, it is quite easy. Oh my God. The this cup just stole an hour from my life. It might've been an hour 15. I don't know how long. I spent a combined 10 to 15 minutes on every other level in total. And I lost an hour to an hour 15 to a cup. I'm gonna show you the cup. It's this, it doesn't even have any water in it. It's empty, it's just an empty cup. It could have been on the ground for all I care. Who needs it? Damn you. I don't even know if I'm gonna do this this episode. <laughs> I have no clue. What bugs me too is I'm surprised I didn't notice it in the smaller version, but my vision's not that good. I think I'm just gonna make this a short episode because I don't wanna be accidentally salty for this because of a cup. I think I'd rather just have a clean mind and go puzzle solving in the future because this game has done nothing wrong and I'm salty just because my real life vision was placed. I have to pay more attention. So let's hope I can pick it up next time. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.